from Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, tuning in for Jack Barry, here's the host of the show, Jim Pat. Thank you. Thank you very much. How sweet. Yes, I'm having fun filling in for Jack, who's off on a much-needed vacation. Jack, I hope you're enjoying yourself. We're trying to keep the fort going here on our last show. We crowned a new champion, Neil, who picked up $500. We've got a challenger for him, and Charlie O'Donnell is going to introduce both of those players to us right now. Right, Charles? Right, Jim. Our current champion, whose winnings in cash total $500. He's the manager of a personnel research department who enjoys canoeing, reading science fiction, and playing cards. Neil Kingston. And his opponent, she's a college student majoring in marine biology, and she enjoys scuba diving and cooking, Barbara Turner! Neil picked up 500 the first time. Nice to have you back with us, and you're a gambler, as I recall, we talked about in our last yeah, show. Yeah. You ever get any big stakes games? Uh, not too big stakes. Um, moderate. So you're playing for some big stakes here. Let's see how you do today. And Barbara, a scuba diver, something that has always fascinated me. What got you into that? Well, I'm studying marine biology, and um, I've always enjoyed scuba diving, and I like to see what's on the bottom. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything interesting on the bottom? Oh, yes, lots of things. I've seen um, oh, sea cucumbers and anemone. I've seen an octopus and even some sharks. I only see those when I go to cocktail parties. I have a problem. We've got some categories that I would like to show you. Take a look, players. They are fast forward spelling, which we'll talk more about as we get to it, famous pairs, the solar system, the Beatles, and world history. Those are the categories. Good luck to both of you. Barbara is our challenger. Once again, you have the first spin, so take it and see what comes up. Okay. We've got fast forward spelling, the Beatles, and a Joker. Fast forward category. You can pick a cat. Uh, if you pick that, you can continue as long as you don't give me an incorrect answer. Barbara, what would you like? Um, I'll go with the Beatles for 100 For $100 on the Beatles. After the breakup of the Beatles, all four went on to successful solo careers. Now, what's the last name of the Beatle who had top ten hits with Imagine and Just Like Starting Over? Lennon. John Lennon is right. You've got $100. And Neil, you've got the spin. Okay, let's see some Joker. We've got Joker, the Beatles, and a Joker. Beatles for $200, please. In 1968, Neil, the Beatles kicked off their new record company with the release of a single, which included the classics Hey Jude and Revolution. For $200, what was the name of their new label? Apple. Apple is right. Boy, both players are hot. Famous pairs, Joker and Joker. I'll take famous pairs for 200, please. The largest retail chain in the world, Barbara, was started by Alva Roebuck and his partner, a mail-order watch salesman. What was the last name of Roebuck's partner? Sears. Sears, right. Richard W. Sears. Back and forth we go, Neil. It's your turn. Here's some Joker. Joker, Joker, and fast-forward selling. Fast forward selling for $200. For $200. Neil, give me two correct answers. You will win the game. You've got to have nerves of steel to take fast forward spelling. Spell courageous. Courageous. C-O-R-A-G. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Incorrect. For $200, Barbara, this would give you the game if you can spell courageous. C O U. R-A-G-E-O-U-S. That's right. And we've got a brand new champion. Either one of you could have done it. Barbara, you did it. $500, you are a champion. Stand by for just a moment. No. Neil, it was a brief appearance, but a sweet one. You picked up $500 in cash and a nice round of applause, and thanks for playing the joke as wild. We will be right back to see if Barbara can beat that devil, so stay with us. Barbara has just picked up $500. Barbara, are you ready to see if you can get some more? Come on over here. Congratulations. Barbara, 
you know how we play this. If you can spin and show $1,000 or more without showing us the devil, you will win that money and these prizes. Charlie O'Donnell? Barbara, you'll savor these gifts designed to spice up your kitchen. First, Barbara, treat your kitchen to this collection of spices and spice racks to go above your electric cooking range. Whirlpool's range with self-cleaning oven, convertible modular cooktops for conventional or grill-type cooking, and a digital automatic mealtime clock from Whirlpool. Then accent your kitchen from wall to wall with its beautiful oak parquet flooring. Heartco Solid Oak Parquet Flooring, a beautiful oak floor designed to install yourself with a cushion foam backing for your added comfort, furnished by Heartco Parquet. Next, spice up that kitchen flooring with a shiny refrigerator. The Scotsman Compact Refrigerator, featuring a freezer compartment and reversible door, can be built into counters and cabinets in your kitchen, bar, or office for convenient entertaining from Scotsman. And finally, Barbara, stock up on your favorite ingredients in this gift that will be the pride of your kitchen worth over $1,200. It's an oak multi-storage cabinet. The beautiful Kepler multi-storage cabinet with 50 storage compartments in 36 inches of floor space. Easy grip handles and adjustable shelves. Enjoy more variety and fewer trips to the market from Kemper Tavern. This Spice Up Your Kitchen package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,050. That's a lot of money right now. Barbara, you a good cook? Yes, I love to cook. This is going to be perfect. And all your recipes are guaranteed foolproof if you win. <laughs> good. good luck to you, Barbara. Remember, $1,000 or more, no devils. Ready? Take it to spin. We've got 75, 150, and 25. That's a good one. Barbara, $250. Do you have somebody out there helping you today? Yeah, my fiancé and his partner. Really? Where are Jim they? Jim and Andy. <laughs> Jim and Andy. Which one's Jim? <laughs> the red. That's your fiancé? Yeah. yeah. What did she do? <laughs> Is he always that excited? Yes. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Let's see. We've got 75, 75, and that's it. You're so funny. You said, I'm sorry, I should be composed. You don't have to be composed. You just won a lot of money in prizes. Hold out your hand. This is the nice part. Yes, two hands. 100, 2, 3, 400, 500, 6, 7, 800, 900, $1,000 plus the spice and spice rack, the range, the flooring tile, the refrigerator, that cabinet. Barbara, right now in cash and prizes, you've got $4,550. Barbara, step on over there, because the game continues. We've got a brand new challenger, Charlie O'Donnell. Please introduce that player. Well, Jim, he's a chaplain in the United States Navy, and his hobbies are traveling, swimming, and reading. Rod Shear. Rod, nice to have you here. What are your duties as chaplain? Well, most of it is pastoral counseling, um, marriage, family, and child with people in sacramental ministry on... Sundays and during the week. Have you traveled around a bit? Where have you Where have you been? Well, the Navy sent me for 20 years up the East Coast and um, uh, med cruises, uh, Caribbean cruises, and a uh, year and a half in Vietnam, and I just got back from a year and a half in Okinawa. Sounds good. If I, if I went in the Navy to see the world, I'm sure all I'd do is be in a submarine. <laughs> Take a look at the categories we got for you, Rod and Barbara. Here they are. They are best sellers, sex symbols, thank you, American Revolution, Gentlemen in Song, and Initials. Those are the categories. Two players. Right, as our challenger, you go first. So grab that handle. Good luck to both of you. Give it a spin. I'll take some jokers. Let's see. We've got sex symbols, best sellers, and sex symbols, a pair. Uh. Well, Chaplain, what would you like? $100 for sex symbols. That's the Navy for you every yeah. time. Here we go. This sexy actress starred as Jane Parker in the 1981 remake of Tarzan the Ape Man. She also produced the film. What is her last name? Derek. Bo Derek is right. <laughs> I know, sir, that you only heard about that by hearsay. Barbara, spin. Triple jump. We've got this time initials, bestsellers, and a pair of bestsellers. I'll take bestsellers for 100. Barbara, late in 1982, one of the fastest climbers on the bestseller list was an autobiography of an American president. It was called Keeping Faith, Memoirs of a President. For $100, what was the author's last name? Carter. Jimmy Carter is right. 
Our score is tied up. We're going to stop and come right back and continue our game. So don't you dare go away. We've got a tie score. Barbara Turner and Chaplain Rod Shear. Good luck to both of you once again. Chaplain, it's your spin. We've got bestsellers, initials, and gentlemen in song. I'll try bestsellers for 50. In 1982, after taking his readers on literary tours of Chesapeake and Hawaii, this author produced his most ambitious bestseller to date, Space. What is his last name? Michener. James Michener is correct. About $150, Barbara Spin. Gentlemen in song, initials, and a joker. Hmm. I'll try initials for 100 Barbara, since 1969, Yasser Arafat has been a pivotal figure in Palestinian organization called the PLO. What does the L stand for in PLO? Liberation. The Palestine Liberation Organization is correct. You're at 200, Rod at 150, and you're center. Ethan Joker. Initial, Joker, and bestsellers. I'll go for $100 to bestsellers. A biography of Marilyn Monroe and a best-selling chronicle of Gary Gilmore called The Executioner's Song are among this author's controversial bestsellers. For $100, he is Norman who? Mailer. Mailer is correct. You're at 250, Barbara. 200, tight score. Ben, Barbara. Bestsellers, a pair, and American Revolution. I'll take bestsellers for 100, please. A world-famous evangelist and an intimate of presidents has been represented on the bestseller list by his book, How to, uh, by his book, How to Be Born Again, and Angels, God's Secret Agent. His name is Billy What? Blanky. Ooh, time is up for $100, Rod. Billy Graham. Billy Graham is right. Ah, oh, Barbara was on the tip of your tongue. Rod, $350, it is your spin. You're close. Gentlemen in song, sex symbols, and bestsellers. I'll stick with bestsellers for 50. Waffled on that one, Rhett. Yeah, I know. Happiness is a warm puppy, and security is a thumb in a blanket. Those two bestsellers of 1963 were written by an American cartoonist. What is his last name? Schultz. Charles Schultz is right, Peanut. You're at $400, Barbara at 200 You need a good spin, champ. Gentlemen in song, bestsellers, and a joker. Oh, I'll try bestsellers again for $100. For $100, Barbara, correct answer will give you $300. An incorrect answer, if Rod has it, would give him the win. Let's see how it works. This 1982 bestseller is a guide to staying in shape and was written by actress Jane Fonda. Complete the bestseller's title. Jane Fonda's what? Workout. Excuse me? Jane Fonda's workout book. Is right. Whoa. That book came out so softly. Rod, it is your spin. Let's have the Joker. Joker, American Revolution, and the triple. $200 for the American Revolution. $200 for the American Revolution. Rod, correct, we'll give you $600, enough for a possible win. In fact, over the 500 you would need. Incorrect answer, it could win the game for Barbara. Let's see what happens this time. In a sea battle between the American ship Bonhomme Richard and the English ship Serapis, a courageous colonial captain uttered inspiring words. These were the words, I have not yet begun to fight. What is the last name of that patriot? Jones. John Paul Jones is right. <laughs> you are at $600. That could be enough for a win. Of course, our champion gets one final spin. Barbara, the only way you can do it is to hit three jokers. Anything on that board that comes up that is not a joker, Rod is automatically the champion. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Good luck and spin it. You need nothing but jokers. America, that's not going to do it. Rod is our champion. Rod, how appropriate that our Navy chaplain won on a Navy question. Stand by for just a moment, because you've got a devil to face, and you should be used to that. Barbara, you do not by any means leave us as a loser, because you go out of here with cash and prizes worth $4,550. Congratulations to you. 
Now, I see by the old clock on the wall, in just a moment, we're going to be going down to our studio audience. I'm going to have a chance to give away some money to three people sitting right out there at this moment. First of all, Rod, I'd like to ask you if you can come back on our next show. I'll be here. Uh, somehow I thought you would. And the first thing we do, of course, is going to take you over and see if you can beat the devil. We will be right back in the audience with Cash. So, come on back. Oh, I love it. It's time for three people in our studio audience to play our game. And Charlie O'Donnell, please tell me who we're going to have. Jim, we're looking for Ramona Bass. <laughs> Michael Hassett. And Kim Moser. Congratulations to all three of you, and uh, Kim, boy, you, you look like the archetypical California girl. Are you, are you a native Californian? No, I'm not. <laughs> and you just going along with me on that one, Kim? Where are you from? I'm from, well, I, I've lived here for most of my life. <laughs> How old are you, Kim? I'm 25. No, I'm 24. <laughs> it starts so young, you start fudging about your age. At any rate, here's how we play the audience game. Each of our players gets one spin with a wheel. The one spinning the highest total, of course, is going to have a chance to face the devil. Kim, are you settled down? Yes. Good luck to you. You're the one that everybody's going to have to beat, so roll a good one. We've got 10, 20, and $40. Okay, well, let's see if it holds up. Michael? Hi. What do you do, Mike? I'm an illustrator. What sort? Magazine covers, advertising art. Really? Any covers that we might have seen? Not unless you're a doctor. We all go to doctor's waiting rooms. You do popular mechanics? Uh, no, I don't. Mike, you've got to be $40. Good luck to you. Grab it and spin. $60 and $110. That's a good one. All going to come down to you, Ramona. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am well, thank you. Where are you from? Great. I'm from L.A. Yes, and what do you do? I'm a computer operator for Pepperdine University, L.A. Really? Are you out at the, uh, at the, at the gorgeous campus in Malibu? No, we're uh, at the L.A. in L.A., <laughs> but we're going to move out on Sepulveda in February. Those of you who don't live in Los Angeles, of course, this is a totally meaningless conversation. <laughs> Ramona, good luck to you. You've got uh, to beat $110. It's a good roll. Let's see what you can do. Grab that handle and give it a good spin for Pepperdine. we got 30, 80... Is that good? Yes. Yeah. We got a tie. We got a tie. All right. Jim, stand by. Michael and Ramona. Ramona, I'm going to start with you. Give it a spin and see what you come up with this time. 30, 80, and 180 dollars. Whoa. Mike, that's going to be a tough one. Good luck and go. Got to be 20, 30, 70. Not going to be enough. A hundred dollars. Okay, there's a hundred dollars for you, Mike. And oh, plus another hundred that you got in the first time around, and a uh, ten dollars here. So you leave us with two hundred ten dollars. Kim, forty dollars. Hold up your hand. Twenty and forty dollars for you, Ramona. It's up to you. If you can show me one thousand dollars without hitting a devil, you will win all that cash. Plus a fabulous prize. Charlie O'Donnell is going to tell you about it. Charles? It's a sensational pool table. For fun and enjoyment, it's a pool table. The Wellington model from Golden West Billiards. A regulation slate table plus a deluxe accessory package for your playing enjoyment. All from Golden West Billiards. This game is worth over $2,050. Ramona, good luck to you. Do you have some folks here with you today? I have a friend, Pat Johnson. Where's Pat? Okay, watch her. She'll tell you what to do. Grab that spin, but lock and spin. All right. We've got seventy-five, two hundred, and fifty dollars. Whoa, that's a good one. Three twenty-five. Pat says to go. What do you want to do? Go back. All right, we'll go. One more time. One more time. Famous words. Let's see what happens. Fifty, seventy-five, and fifty is paid off. Five hundred dollars, Ramona. You're going to stop. Not a gambler, okay? Hold out your hand, Ramona. We've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Now, plus what you won before, 600, 700, 750, 700, 
$7,790 in oh, cash, all for you from the Joker's Wild. Thank you so very much. It was my pleasure. I did, didn't feel a thing. All right. Thank you. I've got enough time to say once again, congratulations to Ramona and to you. Goodbye. Thank you for being with us. See you next time on the Joker's Wild. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Some of our departing investments will proceed with this double action floor sweeper. Snaps up dirt and litter off carpets and bare floors. Great for quick pickups between vacuuming from Bissell. Also, salem vegetable soap for oily skin and Sanine lanolin soap for dry skin. For a young natural look, use Sanine soap and lotion.